You will fail an online business if you don't finish watching this whole video. What's going on Wolves, Eric Ellis Jr. here, back at it again with another fire ass piece of content. And if this is your first time coming across me, my name is Lightbright, AKA the Wolf of Marketing, right? And I basically create content teaching people how to get results online so that way they can live their dream lives, right? Uh, basically, passing back the torch. Now, let's go ahead and get into, right into uh, what we're covering today. But before we do, um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and hit that notifications bell because you know, um, you're not really subscribed if you don't hit that notifications bell. And if you don't have a mentor in marketing, right, click that first link in the description and get access to my inner circle. But I wanted to cover something today and it's actually gonna go ahead and piss some people off, but um, you need to hear this, right? So basically, the title says something along the lines, how to make $1,000 per day with no work and no investments. Now, let's, let's get into this, right? So first and foremost, before I go into this video, I wanna go ahead and basically get something off my chest, right? The first thing is that I love creating content. I recently had somebody reach out to me and tell me, hey man, I'm making $5,000 per month in passive income for, uh, because I've been following you for a long period of time, following what you're, uh, what you're doing, what you're teaching, implementing it, and getting results within my business, right? But here's the sad truth, guys. Um, basically, where all this shit is going, right, is social media and um, YouTube is very fucking selfish, right? And with that being said, basically the burden doesn't fall on the content creators hand, maybe morally, but the burden falls on you guys, right? And I'm gonna explain what I mean in a second. So you watched this video, why did you click on this video, right? Either the thumbnail captured your attention or the title, how to make $1,000 per day and quit your job with no work or no investment, right? That sounds like the fucking dream, right? Make $1,000? Shit, show me somewhere where I can make $1,000 per day with no work or no investment. No investment of money, no investment of time, no work. Shit, I mean, that sounds like a stripper. But they still working, they still taking something, right? So, here's the thing, guys. Basically, what happens is this is, this is how this algorithm thing works. What happens is you have your core following, right? And what YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, what I've come to realize is that they literally go ahead and figure out who your core, core, core following is. And then what they do is they display it to a very small test group, right? And then depending on how that test group reacts will determine on whether they promote your shit or not. Now, what is the problem with that? Basically what happens is if let's just say my title's not clickbaity as shit and my thumbnail's not clickbaity as shit, meaning it's some astronomical, non possible thing, I'm not gonna get views, right? Because people aren't gonna go ahead and click on it. And that brings me to my second, my second point, right? The reason why people aren't clicking on stuff is because if I was to say how to start a real online business with hard work and dedication and desire and hunger, as my fucking YouTube title, it's not gonna get any results, right? People want something for nothing. So what happens is, we're literally catering to our audience, whatever they want, right? Now, as a content creator, what do I wanna do? I wanna go ahead and create shit that's gonna help people. But unfortunately, because of society and our mentality, we naturally want something for nothing. And marketers prey on that, right? I'm a marketer, I prey on that stuff. With my ads, I'm gonna go ahead and have my headlines something for nothing. Meaning if I was to say, if I was to promote a weight loss product, how to lose weight 
without changing your diet and without working out. Let's be fucking honest guys, are you going to lose weight without changing your diet or without working out? No, but people want something for nothing. Nobody's preaching the hard work anymore, right? And what happens is, it's like a battle that these content creators have, right? And I know I made a, a similar video like this a while ago, but you, you, need, to, you need to understand this. And, and if this video touches one person, that's all I was trying to do, right? Is number one, if you want any chance of being successful and making a thousand dollars per day and then some, right? It's gonna take fucking hard work. It's gonna take dedication. You're gonna be willing, have, have to be willing to put in the fucking work, right? And you're gonna be happy and willing to eat shit, right? For a year straight, I had, I'm lying, maybe six months straight, I had a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And then eventually, boom, it started taking off. Cause I was willing to eat shit the whole time, right? But if somebody was to tell me, or if I was to tell people, hey, you're gonna have to eat shit for one year, two years, three years before your YouTube channel pops off, right? People aren't gonna wanna do it. If I'm gonna say affiliate marketing, it took me two years to find to get my first sale, right? People aren't gonna wanna do it. So when you tell people the reality, or if, if you tell people the reality, they don't wanna do it. They don't wanna click on it. They don't wanna learn about it, etc. And the problem with that is this, right? Back in the day, before this algorithm bullshit, YouTube, if you had 20,000 subscribers, they're gonna go ahead and notify your 20,000 subscribers and say, hey, look, here's this practical thing that Eric is going to teach you today. And you're gonna learn a whole bunch of shit, right? And you're gonna be able to apply it and eventually get to that ending desired and those wants and those needs, which is the thousand dollar dates, right? Eventually you'll get there, right? But you need to learn this stuff that I'm gonna go ahead and teach you within this content. And what happens was, YouTube said, let's get smart. Instead of just displaying that content to just everybody, right? Let's go ahead and literally do whatever, whatever most people are gonna go ahead and click on and watch the most. Fuck, fuck the content creator, it's about us, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create a video, or excuse me, we're only gonna promote videos that people are gonna click and that is gonna go ahead and have the most watch time. Right, that's how it works, guys. That's what the algorithm looks like. So what happens is, because of that, and because they punch content creators in the fucking mouth, now what happens is, when we create the stuff that we actually want, nobody sees it. So, we have two options. Do I go ahead and create content that I wanna go ahead and create, slow and steady? I'm not getting any views. I have 17,000 subscribers, but my video got 70 views yesterday. Or am I gonna go ahead and create this clickbaity bullshit and get a thousand views per day, right? It's not gonna help my audience. It's not gonna help people. It's not gonna get them results, right? But am I gonna go ahead and prey on their, 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 their impulsive wants, needs, and desires and create a how to make a thousand dollars per day with no work and no investment and try to create and try to create some stupid ass type of content that actually makes that title and that actual thumbnail make sense so that way it increases my watch time so that way YouTube actually promotes it more. And this is this vicious fucking cycle. This vicious cycle is basically I'm actually creating stuff that's not gonna help my viewers. And then I'm actually creating content that actually makes my YouTube videos, title and thumbnails make sense to where nobody wins, right? The content creator doesn't win. The actual viewer doesn't win. The only person that wins is YouTube because they get people addicted by this content. They get you to click on stuff, right? So what happens is all these content creators have to submit to these platforms and they have to play by their rules. Hey, I want you to promote my shit, so I'm gonna go ahead and start creating stuff that you, you the viewer, you did this to yourself, right? If you guys would click on the stuff that's actually gonna fucking help you, right? YouTube will promote it, and then we wouldn't even be having this conversation, right? You'd be getting the practical stuff. So, I created this video for two reasons, right? Number one, I wanted to go ahead and tell you the something for nothing mental, and most people clicked away. Once they figured out that they weren't making $1,000 per day with no work or no investment, they clicked the fuck away, right? And that's what the fuck I'm trying to tell you. 
People want something for nothing. Fuck them, fuck them people, right? Because they give us hustlers a bad fucking name, us wolves a bad name. You're a fucking wolf, you're still watching this, right? Fuck them people want something for nothing. I don't want them on my channel, right? But this is what I wanted to go ahead. For the, for the people who have stayed this long, I want to tell you this. Number one is this something for nothing mentality has got to stop because it's not going to get you anywhere in life. You're going to, you're going to stay in a nine to five. You're never going to get results, right? Now, I don't believe the Gary Vee philosophy where you have to work 80 hours uh, per day, if that was even possible, 80 hours per day, bleach, bleach your face off or some bullshit like that, right? I believe in balance. But it does take hard work and dedication. That's number one, right? Number two is because of this, understand that majority of the content that you're gonna come across on YouTube nowadays is not people's best shit. And what I mean by that, when I first started YouTube, I started creating content, I was literally giving my best shit away, right? But what happened was, YouTube wouldn't promote it. And then I started noticing, ooh, if I create this, th these videos about people that's really not gonna help people, but people are gonna click on it, people are gonna watch it to the end, because they want something for nothing, YouTube starts promoting it. And that's what starts building brands, that's what starts building an audience, right? So, here's where this is going, guys. You're not gonna really find practical, really good stuff that you can apply to actually get results within your business. Now, I'm not saying stop watching my YouTube channel, because I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some fire ass shit, right? I try the best of my ability to get people to actually, actually click on my videos, and once they click on my videos, I try to deliver, right? But I'm speaking to other content creators, for other content creators out there. Understand that people don't have your best interests at heart and it's not, I don't even put the blame on the content creators. I put the, the, the blame on the fucking pimp, right? If you're the pimp's hoe and he's like, bitch, give me my money, or what are you doing? Right, you gonna listen, cause the pimp paid the bills, right? You too. It's the pimp, right? So a lot of these people sold out. Me, my, my, my engagement, my, my, my YouTube views, everything, my subscribers growth, all that shit has stopped because I'm not selling my soul to the devil, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create videos like that here and there because guys, when you create really good stuff and you don't have people view it, like you don't even feel like creating stuff like that anymore. So I have a balance. I'm creating stuff that's actually gonna help people and I'm creating stuff that's kinda clickbaity as shit, gonna get you to watch just like this one, but I'm at, I'm, I think this is value, right? But what I wanted to tell you guys is that this is where we're going. You're gonna have to reach in your fucking pockets, guys. Like, an example, I'm not putting my best, I'm gonna put some good stuff, but I'm not putting my best stuff out there anymore because it doesn't get views. If I was to go ahead and create a video about email marketing or copywriting, YouTube's not gonna promote it because the audience that I've built is around people who want something for nothing, right? So that being said, if you want access to my best content, this isn't just me trying to pitch you something, this is for everybody. If you wanna learn anything, if you wanna learn how to lose weight, if you wanna learn how to make money online, if you wanna learn about e-commerce, the best shit is going to be in a course or an inner circle or a mastermind, right? You're not gonna get everything you're looking for. You're not gonna find out how to get rich. How long has this been? 13 minutes, you're not gonna find out how to make fucking $1,000 per day in a 13 minute video. Have you bumped your fucking head? And I know this is a little bit of hard truth, right? But you need to be beat up a little bit, right? If you wanna get to, to where you have nice views and you wanna live your dream life, you wanna take your business to the next level, you need this reality check, right? So with that being said, find a mentor. Find somebody who has the results that you, that, that, uh, you have. You're gonna have to weed through the bullshit because there's gonna be some bullshit content out there. But if you really wanna take your business to the next level, stop trying to get everything for free, another something for nothing, getting all this free YouTube content and not actually investing into yourself. You're gonna pay with something, guys. You're either gonna pay with money or you're gonna pay with your time, right? So quick little shameless plug. For those of you watching this who actually do affiliate marketing, right, or digital marketing, I have an inner circle, it's called Wolves Inner Circle. You go to wolvesinnercircle.com or you click the first link in the description, grab access to that. You're literally gonna go ahead and get access to my best fucking content, period, point blank period. We got that shameless plug out of the way. But again, we're forced to do this because of the pimp. You gotta play by the damn rules. So understand, I'm gonna do my best to continue to stay real as possible, to provide valuable-based content, 
but understand my best stuff isn't gonna be on this platform, right? If they don't respect me, why, why am I gonna respect them? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my best, but understand sometimes when I give my best, YouTube doesn't promote it. And I'm, and I'm trying to bring it back to why. The reason why is because they, they literally promote it to a small group of people. If it doesn't have a really high click-through rate, meaning the amount of people actually see the thumbnail and the title click on it, if that percentage isn't a certain amount, they're not gonna promote it to majority of your audience. Now, if you have a piece of content that's getting a ridiculous click-through rate because my, my videos click, uh, my thumbnail and my titles are uh, clickbaity, right? Then because a whole bunch of people are clicking with it, watching it, engaging with it, they'll continue to promote it to a majority of your audience. So my subscribers is suffering because of the pimp. Not because of your boy, I wanna help you guys out. Because of the pimp. So I just wanted to show you guys, this video right here is gonna get more views than my best shit because of the fucking title and the thumbnail. It's gonna be clickbaity as shit. But I just wanted to prove the point, right? My last videos, which is actually providing value, some of those videos, is not gonna get as many videos as this, simply because the click-through rate's gonna be pretty high because of this stupid ass algorithm, right? So I'm done with that damn rant today. I just had to get it off my chest. And I told you guys, I'm gonna start creating content around shit I wanna create. It might not be delivered how you want it to. You were probably expecting to actually learn something today, thousand dollars per day, no work, no investment. Get rid of your fucking self. That's not gonna fucking happen. If I have any additional videos in the future that has some dumbass thing like that, just understand it's gonna be clickbaity, but the message that I'm actually delivering is going to be of value, right? So sorry, I'm being pimped out. I'm ho, I'm on I'm on the corner right now, but just know I'm trying to hook you up, right? So, in the circle down below, hit that subscribers button if this is your first time coming across your boy. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna check out after that one. Eric Ellis Jr., checking out.